is Cengage Waves and Thermodynamics book and this DPP is worth it for the advanced preparation. Let's break it down in this video. In this basic overview, here you get a book and a DPP, here you get theory and questions and here you get only questions for daily practice. Now let's talk about the structure and organization of this book and this DPP. First let's talk about the book. So here you can see the book, here's the cover you can see. This book is authored by B.M. Sharma and here you can see the contents page. First of all, let's know about the contents page first. Here you can see the first chapter is thermometry, thermal expansion and calorimetry. And here you can see the chapter 2 is transmission of heat. Now here you can see chapter 3 is kinetic theory of gases. Then here you can see the chapter 4 is thermodynamics. And here is the chapter 5 linear and angular simple harmonic motion. And here you can see chapter 6 traveling waves. And here's the chapter 7, superposition and standing waves, then chapter 8, sound waves and Doppler effect. And here you can see the solutions, chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And here you can see the appendix 1, chapter wise solve JE main 2019 question, 16 sets. Then appendix 2, chapter wise solve JE main January 2020 question, 6 sets. Then appendix 3, J advanced 2019 solved questions. Here you can see the preface. You can read it and here you can see the chapter one first before diving into the all these chapters let's talk about the structure of these chapters so in uh, every chapter you can see there are theory there are illustrations there are solved examples there are concept application exercise and also there are exercise questions and j archives there you can find the j main and advanced question that's the basic things that you get in um, every almost every chapter okay so here you can see it's the chapter one now um, let's uh, talk about the chapter one first okay so here you can see the chapter one thermometry and uh, thermometry thermal expansion and calorimetry okay now as i have told you first you get some theory some important points maybe and then you get some illustrations here you can see then again some theory some important points maybe then again illustrations and again theory and illustrations okay and after uh, several repetition of these things you get concept application exercise like here and after that again theory and illustration this cycle continues and you get some concept application exercise and after that at the end of the book you can find some solved examples maybe um, if your book is a new edition the solved examples may not be available there okay so now there several solved examples and you get exercises there are different types of questions in uh, exercises first is single correct answer type questions then multiple correct answer type questions like here then uh, here you can see li linked comprehension type questions then after that matrix match type questions then numerical value type questions and then archives here you can find the j main and advanced questions okay here you can see this is the J main questions and here you can see the advanced questions and here you get the answers key this book is a bit old so if you get the latest one you get the latest PYQs okay now here you can see the chapter 2 and this structure is basically also same for this chapter also okay now here you can see the chapter 3 kinetic theory of gases and then chapter 4 4 thermodynamics here you can see chapter 4 thermodynamics then here you can see chapter 7 that is linear and angular simple harmonic motion and after that here you can find out the chapter 8 sorry chapter uh, 6 traveling waves And here you can find the chapter 7 superposition and standing waves. And here is the chapter 8 sound waves and Doppler effect. Okay, and now at the end of the book, you can find out the solution sections here. You will find out different uh, solutions of different problems here. Okay, so all these solutions are given here after the solution section you get the appendix one two three here you can see appendix one chapter i solve j main 2019 question 16 sets 
then here you can see chapter 2 chapter wise solve jm in january 2020 question six sets and also you get the answer key also here you can see the answer key and appendix 3 j advanced 2019 solved questions and here's the answer key and here's the hints and solutions okay now as i have earlier told you that this book is a bit old so if you get the latest one you get the latest questions i mean latest puiq questions here you can see chapter wise topic wise dpp daily practice problems for the main and advanced here you can see the contents page chapter one is thermometry thermal expansion and calorimetry chapter two is transmission of heat then chapter three is kinetic theory of gases then chapter four is thermodynamics then chapter five is linear and angular simple harmonic motion then chapter six is traveling waves then chapter seven is superposition and standing waves and now here you can see chapter eight sound wave and doppler effect and solutions okay now here you can see that there are several dpps in single chapter so there are two or three or four or five dpps in a chapter in every chapter almost so here you can see that the dpp 1.1 here you get different types of questions in each dpp like subjective questions uh, objective type questions single correct answer type questions then multiple correct answer type questions then fill in the blank type questions and you get the answers key right after the uh, dpp okay and at the end of the dpp you get the solutions and here you can find out the different solutions okay i mean the solutions of the all of these questions okay so that's it for the dpp now let's talk about the pros and cons for this book and this dpp so first pro is there are in-depth theory and illustrations and questions that is more than enough for your je main and also if you practice well that will significantly help you in the je advanced also also the next pro is if you are a self-studying student then this book and this dpp is a really great tool for you the third pro is even if you are going to any coaching this book will significantly help you to improve your marks and your rank in your mock test also in the actual exam now let's talk about the cons so first con is there are a lot of questions in this book and the, in this dpp so sometimes it feel a headache sometimes to solve all these questions and it's sometimes became practically impossible to do all these questions if there is some time constraint the next con is this book and this dpp if you want to revise it very quickly then it's not really suitable for that you need some time to solve them and also a good amount of time to revise them also now the third con is if you're a dropper if you're in 12th standard 12th class so you need to manage your time to solve these books and this dpp because these takes a lot of time to solve so you have to manage your time properly and you have to solve them more precisely now the question is should you buy this book well there are two answers one is yes and one is no so yes if you are in class 11th and you want to prepare for your advanced and you are really dedicated person to uh, solve any book also if you love to read books love to read theory also solve questions then it is really good for you also if you want to uh, study topics more in depth then this book and this dpp will help you for that also if you want to improve your marks and ranks then also this book and this dpp can help you and no if you don't have enough time no if you are a dropper and don't have enough time you are uh, rushing to complete your syllabus then this book and this dpp is not for you now this cengage physics waves and thermodynamics also the mechanics one and two i have also made videos about those two books also you can check that out on my channel and also here if you want to study these books these books are like complete ecosystem you have to study them there are a lot of theory in depth theory so if you study them that will help you to grasp a lot of good stuffs about physics for as your conceptual thing also in case of your practicing problem solving skills that will be improved so if you like this video please 
hit the like button and if you are new to our channel definitely subscribe this channel because we post study related videos like book review videos honest unbiased book review videos also study tips sometimes we arrange some free zoom sessions where you can directly ask any of your doubts also for that reason you have to check out our channel also you have to check our posts in this channel also you can check out our instagram page okay so see you in the next video bye bye